And so the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 has been launched. Now, depending on which part of the world you come from, depends on whether you'll get a Snapdragon or an Exynos processor inside of your device. So today we're going to be testing a Galaxy Note 20 with a Snapdragon 865 Plus against what? A Galaxy Note 20, but with an Exynos 990. Is there a difference? Well, let's find out. So we have the Galaxy Note 20 with the Snapdragon 865 Plus. On the left hand side, we have the Galaxy Note 20 with the Exynos 990 on the right hand side. And already I could saw a bit of a lead there by the Exynos 990, that was a bit unexpected and still the lead there as we get into the S-Core like this. But no, it's been lost. The Galaxy Note 20 with the Snapdragon 865 is now in the lead as we are now into the JSON test. And as I said that, we are now into the compression test, both devices zipping up files, unzipping them, zipping up files, unzipping them to see how it can cope with also the process of the CPU and also the internal storage. And now, the Note 20 with the Snapdragon 865 Plus is into the 16th thread test while the Note 20 with the Exynos 990 was struggling there a bit on that compression test but it's now also into the 16th thread test as the uh, 865 Plus version is now into the blur test of course the beginning of the mix CPU GPU part of this test coming up in a moment is the smoke particle test where we'll see the frame rate difference in terms of 2D graphics between these two devices as the Exynos version is now also into the blur test it's now into the infinite scrolling list both of them in the infinite scrolling list and as I said that the smoke particle test just started started now in the Snapdragon version. There we go, 28, 29 frames a second as it now moves into the Unity test on the right hand side, 22, oh dear, 22, 23 frames a second as it now goes into the Unity test, but a lead still being maintained by the Snapdragon 865 variant of the Galaxy Note 20. And that doesn't look good on the right hand side. That seems a bit slower. Will it start to pick up a bit? Yes, there you go. It's got its feet. It's, it's on the way while the Snapdragon version is now into the Unreal test. So it's maintaining its lead. That white dot on the bottom of the screen, by the way, is just just reflection in the lights, nothing to do with the display on the Snapdragon version of the Note 20. There we go, it's finished. One minute, 32.4. And as I'm saying that, the Note 20 with the Exynos 990 is now itself into the uh, Unreal test, so it's certainly behind. The clock is still ticking, it's getting its way through. What's the final difference going to be? Let's see. One minute, what? One minute, 50.3. There you go, one minute, 50.3. Okay, let's break down the scores and see exactly what happened. Okay, so as we saw there, a convincing win for the Snapdragon version of the Galaxy Note 20, 1 minute 32.4, and then 17.9 seconds later came in the Exynos 990 version, 1 minute 50.3. So what happened in CPU, 38.6, versus 44.6, that's a difference of six seconds in the favor of the Snapdragon version. When we get to the mixed CPU, GPU, it's pretty, pretty close here, much to say the same thing. 23.5, 23.2, 0.3 of a second difference, actually a win, 0.3 of a second win there for the Exynos 990. And then when we get into the GPU, 30.1 versus 42.4, that's a 12.3 second difference. So when you add up that 12.3 second difference and the six second difference in the CPU, and a little bit a difference there in the mix it comes out as an overall win for the snapdragon version one minute 32.4 my name is Gary Sim. This is Speed Test G. I really hope you enjoyed this test between the two variants of the Galaxy Note 20. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you have questions about how these tests work, then please do look in the FAQ. The link is in the description below. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.